Hi everyone, I'm Leah. And I'm David, and this is Wine Forecaster. So we're outside today enjoying a nice red wine. We have Trey Laven's 2013 Cabernet Franc. Not only are we enjoying it, but the bumblebees have started to accumulate. <laughs> so this must be a really good bottle of wine. And honestly, we've, we've already opened it up and we've been sitting out here enjoying it. Um, Cabernet Franc, a really nice, medium bodied, French Bordeaux style wine and great for summertime Absolutely. You know, events. Yep. So, what I love about this wine is you can pair it with so many different things. Um, it doesn't have to be a dark, brooding wine, so mm -hmm. it can go with lighter things that you might potentially put on the grill. So, great thing to bring, especially if um, you've got somebody who likes red wine. A lot of us like to sip white wines in the hotter months, but this is a great alternative. So, the, the notes that the, the winemaker said mm -hmm. were something that we're not really sure if we're getting here today. This yeah. is something that's kind of interesting. Um, nutmeg and, and what else? Cinnamon? Spearmint. 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 Yeah. yeah. Instead, we're finding this wine has a very um, complex vegetable component to yeah. it. They also said cocoa and, um, oh, I don't remember the other well, one. Well, I'm getting a lot of oh, eggplant. Cranberry. I'm getting a lot of eggplant and peppers in this. Mm -hmm. I get more of like kind of a beets. I can I can get the cranberry with this actually, or a dark plum, if you will. Um, it almost has a, a hint of Merlot to it. Hint of Merlot. Well, yeah, I can see that. I'm getting a, a tobacco um, flavor, or I'm sorry, flavor, tobacco smell, kind of like a, maybe even an allspice. Mm -hmm. But I like it. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's it's. Uh, I think I I, I like. Cabernet Francs that, that smell like this. So. Yeah, so we like earthy Pinots, we like earthy Cabernet Francs. You can certainly have more of a fruity Cabernet Franc. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And the spiders like it too. <laughs> no, so it, it, it's, it's again, medium body and it, it has a, I, I'm getting the cranberry Oh, yeah. On the mouth and uh, some beets. Yep. You getting that as well? Some pepper, um, not not spicy pepper, just like bell pepper, green peppers, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's got that earthy notes again to the the palate as well, and some oak in there too. Right. This was 18 months on oak. Trey Laven, it's on on um, Cayuga Lake on the east side. So one of those few wineries that. Uh, exist on the east side of Cayuga on the on wine trail. Under the King Ferry Winery label as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So and they they grow several different types of grapes. It sounds like they actually started with Chardonnay, which is not necessarily the, the grape first grown in the Finger Lakes traditionally, but um sounds like they're known for that and then the Rieslings and several other varietals also. And price point. Uh this is sixteen ninety nine which is certainly well, you know, well worth the price in my opinion. They also have a reserve Cabernet Franc too. That was a, um, I think it was like a 23 price point. So uh, we have this of course in our Bordeaux glasses. And as I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, it is a Bordeaux style wine. Um, so if you have a red wine glass, you know, this would be the appropriate stemware to use for a Cabernet Franc. Absolutely, that's always an important thing. Usually with the reds, you wanna have it in a larger, glass so that you can really get the aromatics with it. Mm -hmm. Usually the whites you're able to get it pretty easily so you have the smaller ones. Yeah. Well we're happy to bring this video to you today. This time on our deck without any lawnmowers <laughs> or any chainsaws. <laughs> a little bit of a breeze but it was a success. <laughs> no dogs barking. No dogs barking yet. <laughs> I'm David. And I'm Leah. Thanks for joining us on Wine Forecaster.